Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to move back to Gallipoli for the attack on Hill 60. General William Birdwood commanded two assaults on Hill 60 with 4,000 men against Ottoman commander Mustafa Kemal and an unknown number of defenders from August 21st through August 29th, 1915. The attack of Hill 60 had been planned for some time for August 21st. And on the morning of August 21st, yes, the morning of the attack, Anzac Command had decided they would move the artillery support dedicated to the assault away from the fight and use it for the Battle of Solva instead, leaving the Anzac and British troops attacking Hill 60 with very little artillery support. The assault occurred at 3.30 in the afternoon and consisted of a 1,200-foot march up to where the Turks were, in open and hostile terrain. The initial movement of the British troops had an unexpected effect. A portion of the Turkish infantry retreated to trenches further up the hill when they saw the Anzac troops approach. The New Zealand soldiers themselves were able to reach forward Turkish positions with little trouble and by 4 p.m. they were securing those trenches. They found themselves the only troops to reach their positions, however. Both the Indian Brigade and the Australians on either side of them had been unable to secure their positions, leaving the New Zealanders hanging in the wind. The New Zealand soldiers held on until 5 p.m and was relieved by the Gurkhas and overall the Allied forces had camped for the night. For the next five days, Anzac and British forces resupplied and moved men up so on August 27th the assault could resume. The Anzac troops were to push their way further up the hill but no matter how hard they tried they could not dislodge the Turks from the top. By the evening of the 27th, British command sent in elements of the 9th Light Horse Regiment and unfortunately Lieutenant Colonel Carol Rennell and 75 men got lost in the night, finding themselves out in the open in front of Turkish machine guns, all of them dying instantaneously from the Turkish fire. In response, Allied Command ordered a 10th Light Horse to push up the hill as well, and they did so until the morning of August 29th, where they were able to secure some additional trenches, but in the end the Allied troops could not push any further, leaving the Turks in control of the hill and the victor of the last battle on Gallipoli until the Allied troops left in December of 1915. The British suffered more than 25% casualties with at least 1,100 dead, wounded, or missing out of 4,000 men. The losses for the Turks were never recorded. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.